Uh, hello and welcome back, champions of milk. Ah, another tipsy video. And this will be the beginning of a new series, I believe, called Tipsy Reviews. The first one. Mm, um, yeah, I'm excited too. The first one is going to be for The Accountant. A new Ben Affleck movie. Let me tell you, this guy has been impressing me the last couple of years. He did that movie The Town, he did that movie Argo, and he's come a long way since Reindeer Games. And yeah, I'm, I'm fucking impressed. You know, he got his start with his buddy uh, Matt Damon there in uh, Goodwill Hunting. And yeah, we always kind of thought of him as like the beta, the stupider of that little duo. But let me tell you something right fucking goddamn now. The Accountant makes Born Identity look mediocre. And I use that using the parlance of the last really fucking awesome thrilling movie I saw, besides maybe The Revenant, which was Mad Max Fury Road. All right, a Morton Joe would look at The Accountant, and then he would look at Jason Bourne, and you know what he would say? He'd say fucking mediocre. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about The Accountant. You, you take movies like uh, Precious. I just didn't think I was coming out with that one. You take movies like Precious, the, the, the Dead Poet Society. These movies that, like, it's like, hey, it's all right to be different. It's all right to be, like, thoughtful and artistic. But what what, what about the, the people who are thoughtful and artistic and who also want to... Uh, you know, shoot a, a 50 BMG at a target a mile away and understand, you know, elevation and windage and, uh, you know, the, the, the decibel levels of different suppressors and, and calibers and, and comparing self-defense loads. Let me, all right, I'm going off on a tangent here. The Accountant is like a hybrid of Rambo movies and fucking Dead Poet Society movies. It's got this incredible, great action story, but it's also got this this core, this this little this little revenge of the nerd style fucking insight and uplift for those of us who uh you know maybe a little nerdy, maybe a little thoughtful, maybe a little insightful, maybe a little sensitive, you know. It's not a weakness. It's not a. It's not a bad thing. It just makes you a little different. And you know what? This movie not only makes you feel good about feeling different, like a lot of these, uh, you know, so-called soft, sensitive, autistic movies. Hey, hey! It's also got a fucking badass fucking storyline. Fucking badass. God damn it! All right. This is probably a pretty shitty movie review. I'm gonna admit it. But this is my first attempt at doing this, and uh, I didn't have any footage. I'm not a professional. I'm literally the opposite of a professional. Doing this for fun. And uh, so I put on this, uh, the, the background gameplay here is, is my first steps into the DLC in the new game. Plus plus on the, the spell sword, spell sword. Got a bunch of videos coming for this build. A little bit of a tangent here. You know, it's kind of become my favorite build. I, got really into pyros for a while but dex int was always like my thing in previous souls games it was always kind of my favorite build and i from what i saw and from what i gathered about intelligence the new soft caps the requirement for rings the pretty low damage if you don't use the certain i'm going on a tangent here I wasn't expecting dex int to be good fell in love with this fucking dex int I think I'm gonna make another dex in using that uh, that sweet fucking anime scythe, and yeah, good stuff coming for the for the dex in people. All right, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Now let me talk more about the account. I'm not gonna be giving any spoilers. Everybody hates the spoilers. I hate the fucking spoilers. I hate what's happened to the way movie trailers are done these days, showing a lot of the key plot beats and and you know stuff late in the movie. I'm not doing any of that and I don't want to give any details with the exception of just talking about the first scene it's a scene that's in the trailer and I kind of like what they did here they kind of focused the trailer on the opening scene which is what 
uh, Guillermo del Toro did with that kaiju movie he did. If you go back and look at the trailer of that, there's like nothing from even in the middle of the movie. And, and I really think that's the way it should be done. So that's the way I'm going to do it here. The movie opens up on the parents talking to, you know, a mental health specialist, a, a developmental disorder specialist, obviously. And there's a kid downstairs. He's, he's putting a puzzle together. And the puzzle is missing one little piece. And the kid starts flipping the fuck out, like crazy rage. And he's there with some other people. And, of course, they're not happy about it. And somebody helps him put the piece back together. And he chills the fuck out. And it just it shows the origins of the character. It sets up the exposition and, like an engaging way, but it also does that kind of Chekhov's gun kind of thing. If, if you show a gun to the audience, they're going to be waiting for that shit to go off. And we see early on not only who this kid is, where he comes from in the simplest terms, but also what he's capable of to solve a mystery that he is invested in. And the final puzzle piece is a Muhammad Ali painting that he's done upside down and it just kind of shows this guy's technical prowess and an ability to get shit done and it also showed the movie was well fucking done last last two movies that had me going this good were the revenant and mad max fury road uh another great one I, and this wasn't really an action-packed one but it was Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal I never gave that fucker much credit then I saw this movie Nightcrawler where he plays like a, a grimy shitty journalist a bad guy an awful guy but somehow this movie keeps compelling you and almost in a weird twisted way keeps you rooting for this guy um, but I don't know, maybe not. But either way, you can't look away from this movie Nightcrawler, even though it's about a bad guy. The Accountant, for some people, this is going to be a movie about a bad guy, a guy who does bad things, who's willing to fucking put shit down if it needs to be put the fuck down. This is not only a nerd, but a ruthless nerd, a capable nerd. And I, I and let me tell you something, a ruthless, capable, motivated nerd can fucking move mountains, all right? Hashtag Oppenheimer. Hashtag Manhattan Project, all right? All right. This thing fucking blows up your face like a nuclear bomb. See this goddamn The Account movie. It is fucking beautiful, all right? Give it an A+. Plus. Give it a five star. Give it a two thumbs up your butt. I hope you stay milky, and I love you.